Hi guys. Hi guys. Big Mix Models UK. Um, just, just a quick update on uh, what I've been doing. I've been doing a Hanamag SDKFZ 2511 135th scale um, from Tamiya. Uh, put on a little bit of a Dorama. I'm not one for doing figures, as probably most of you know. Um, I think the only figure that I've actually done before and showed <laughs> was the the 125th scale figure that went in my Spitfire um, that I did not long back. Um, but yeah, uh, well, let's take a look and you can make your own decisions on whether it's come out any good or if it's rubbish or all right, honest opinions appreciated. So. Uh, just one moment, I'll just pull it forward and we'll have a look. Well, here it is. 135th scale Hanamag from Tamiya. The little figures that I'm not too keen on doing. Probably shows, but I don't know. I don't know how well it is. Actually showing up. <coughs> uh, a little bit of advice took from Lon. Um, he mentioned that when you're doing dioramas to try and get the wheels actually in the mud so they're not actually sat on the top well this one's for you long there we go got some streaking going on on the weathering these figures aren't the the best by a long way but it is my real some real rock going on and some tufts of grass I'm trying to get in close so you can get a good look at what I actually set oh there's auto adjusting focus 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 come on you can feel good better than that. There we go. And then the figures. I don't know how well he is going to shut up. The chap in the back. Chap hiding out here. Yeah. A little bit of chipping on the front. I don't know if it's going to show. Or it might. Yep, you can just see I've, I've dry brushed the rivets, tried to make them pop a little bit. Um, see, yeah, the rivets are standing out quite well. Depends which angle you get. And there you can see again actually impacted into the mud she's come through the field review into the top and see it and we've got a bit of mud going on inside where they've trampled it in and and this and that but uh some rock effect. Uh, focus, there we go. But yeah, my Hannah Mag. Um, nope, don't want to see him. That look quite. So. 
if you guys can let me know what you think. <coughs> Yeah, if you guys could let me know um, what you think, <coughs> if it's any good, if I've done something wrong, or um, I should have done something a bit different, um, I'm not going to take it as criticism, but I'm going to take it as help, um, as anybody, uh, if I said something to somebody, I wouldn't want them to take, you know, if I said like, oh, I wouldn't do it that way, I'd do it this way. Or I think you could have done better if you'd have done it that way. I wouldn't expect them to take that as criticism because I wouldn't criticise anybody's work. People put 100% into their work and they can only do as good as they can do. Um, so I'd take it as a as a tip to help. Like when Lon turns around to me and he says, try and get the wheels set slightly into the mud or flat them off so it looks like they're in the mud. It looks more realistic. I've done that on this one, and yeah, it does. Um, I don't take don't take it as criticism. I actually take that as a helping tip from another modeler. Um, so any tips that you can see on this that I've done wrong, or if you don't want to put that I've done it wrong, just helpful tips, as I say, will be much appreciated. So uh, this is Mix Models UK. Well, off, signing off, and we'll catch you on the next video. Um, as I always say, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Okay, guys, cheers for watching. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.